Yeah, so this is the thing. Let's see what's going on. Oh, ああ、ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
Saw the fight, but I was too scared to step in and help. Might not make up for it, but I'd like you to have these onigiri. <laughs> That's good, right? <laughs> this dude's like dumbstruck. Like, oh. uh. I'll hike it. Yeah, thanks. All right, Chirikawa. <laughs> I'll be doing another soup kitchen out, out here soon, so I'll see you two then. Hi. I'm actually not homeless anymore. Sorry. As of like three days ago. I, I continue to be impressed with like the previous games in the Yakuza franchise have sort of treated the homeless as sort of like a tool to be used. Like they're just kind of around and, Ooh. and you know, they're used Ooh. for information cause they see everything, but no one pays any attention to them. And, but in there, they're, they're a, they're a function. They're a, you know, they're a mechanic practically. Um, this game has actually done a pretty <laughs> good job of humanizing homelessness in, in a way that I really appreciate. I mean, for starters, like, you, the player character, become homeless and have to, like, go through some of the Magical. things that you have to sort of, like, play out homelessness. And that really kind of puts you in the shoes of, like, considering what people have to go through when they've when they've kind of, like, hit rock bottom like that. I know. I, I think it's a good thing. So this guy wants to date the soup kitchen lady, which may not be, I don't know, we'll see. I have experience or a job or a house, but I don't wanna treat these feelings like they never existed, not for my first love. Your first? Can you step in and play matchmaker for us? I gotta at least try. <sighs> I don't know. My my charm is like really low. All right, I'll try it. Arigato gozaimasu. But first, maybe uh, maybe we should bury the body or throw it in the river or something. Oh. Right. Okay. Next time, then. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be tough. All right, that... That wasn't exactly what I expected. Oh, also, as long as we have this new gear... Bet that's better for her. Yeah, good. You can have the parka. Yes, we have. We got. Uh, we got Psycho yesterday. She's good. She's a punch girl. Well, except, kind of, not anymore. I sort of moved her off of the punch girl job, I guess. Sort of regret that now that I'm thinking about it, but... Wait, what is this? Oh yeah, this is the cheapo arcade. Oh man, I already got this one. That's gotta be a kid I'm supposed to find on part-time here. Wait, really? Oh yeah, okay, let's do part-time hero. Your mom's worried about you, why don't you get on home? 
She really went on parttimehero.com. Guess she learned how to use her smartphone. Damn, kid. You ain't gotta torch your mom like that. Mission complete. Boxing what? shoes? 250. I'm sorry. We got paid 250 bucks to tell a kid to go home. Like, can I sign up for this website? Because, like... Holy shit, those are really good. Also, why are they spiked? I mean, we have to give the punch girl the boxing shoes. Okay, so these are really good. What else can we do? Used appliance delivery. Wait, what? There are Kappa here in Yokohama, but only the, the only suggestion of their existence is in symbols. Finding these alone in such a large city is a lot of work. I heard there are ten of them. I would like you to photograph them for me. Oh, take pictures. Okay, yeah, we can do that. I think I knew about that before. Yeah, someone wants to pay 2 million yen for pictures of Kappa statues. Man, none of the rest of these pay nearly as well. I don't know how I like... I just randomly... I just randomly, accidentally found the kid. Delivery request from a customer. Butterfly and a moth. I don't even know where to find those. An eye eye and a gone gone. Uh huh. These are just. I'll pay you a hundred bucks to get things out of a out of the UFO catcher. Soup kitchens, pork soup, three disposed bentos, two half-empty drinks. I could just buy you real food, you know. A daikon and two potatoes. Worn-out TV and a worn-out microwave. Pocket tissues. TLDR, my gr me and my girlfriend had an argument. I said something dumb. She stormed out of the apartment. What I did is I bought her favorite. I, I bought her favorite donuts instead of going to look for. Her. That's what I'm hiring you for. You could have probably done both, but okay. I mean, fifty thousand yen is a lot of yen, so. How about rescue missions? Take down sni- I read that as sniper, but it's snipper. Right? Like, yeah, I didn't want to go look for her, so I just- I just went to get donuts. Can you go find her for me? Like, n no. Ah, <sighs> Eugene Show, Isazaki Road. I don't know this. This is a completely new map to me, so I don't know the layout anymore. Gone bad. Happy Thanksgiving at or Black Friday, as it were. 
Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Hope you had a good one. What is... Hang on, what is this? Is this the location of a thing that I need to, like, take care of? Or is this the location... Okay, yeah, no, this is a rescue mission. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yes, get a random buff guy to kidnap your girlfriend and bring... Yeah, it's problematic, Marcus, not gonna lie. I've been framed as a thief and I'm being asked to hand over my belongings. Believe me when I say I haven't stolen a thing. This happened near the parking structure. I could use... I need a hero. I'll be inspecting his belongings. Trying to say I'm a thief? That's slander, pal. You're not getting... You're not getting away with it. Oh, okay. We might need to use some, uh... Like, level 18 is, like, a bit high. Eh, maybe it's not too bad. Yeah, this does. Effective. We are the globe. My man's gonna come out here and play We Are the World, We Are the Children. So how do we rate like so the musician has a has a voltage stat and I'm not exactly sure Damn Not exactly sure how to deal with that Where is your god now? Sorry, I was trying to read stuff Go with this I guess <laughs> we gave him a cold? Oh no. <laughs> that should do. Yeah, those did actually look like coronaviruses. Um, like everyone to remember that this game came out in Japan in like January. So that did not play into the, uh, that, 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 that did not play into the decision to make it look like that. But like, Thanks, if you haven't been here on a time, that jerk would have taken everything I had. Now I know who, who to call when there's trouble. Alright, that's extra good because not only was it worth a lot of money, we also got a guitar for Nanba. Holy crap! All right, so we're now into the part in the RPG where you get significantly better gear from side quests than what you can actually buy. So, as of this moment, we have more or less... It 
Is that copyrighted? Should I take that off the soundboard? Uh, let's, let's hear a scary story, Adachi. I will catch you up in a moment, Marcus. I put my clothes in the dryer. Five minutes or so left, my cell phone rang. Went outside to talk. Ten minutes, I hung up and went back inside. The dryer was still going, there were 30 minutes. でも下のか。してねえよ。感想機なんて延長しねえだろう。おかげで俺の大きなT God, I've, I've kind of lost. I've kind of lost any ability to do, like, AoE damage. Not great. That's good damage. Okay, the story so far. Our main dude is the god is this lovely gentleman in the armor. He doesn't actually have armor on, he's hallucinating it. Um So he's our new uh he's our no he's our new protag. He was a member of a small Tojo clan affiliate. He was kind of their butt monkey, just kind of like... He was like the lowest of low-level dudes. He was running collections, he wasn't particularly good at it. Basically like... What in the hell? Oh, I can't go in there. Okay. Yeah, here's what uh, here's what Kasuga Ichiban actually looks like when he's not hallucinating himself in hero armor. So he was in a low-level uh, Yakuza faction. One day, his patriarch, who he greatly respects, went to him and was like, "Hey, one of our dudes killed a guy from a one of our one of our dudes killed a guy from an opposing faction." I really can't afford for him to go to jail. Would you be willing to take the rap for him? And Ichiban, being loyal and wholesome, was like, "Yeah, of course, I'll do. Like, I'm happy to. I am happy to take the rap. I'll go to jail for as long as you need. Like, if it's gonna if it's gonna help the family, I'm happy to do it." Her attack power is, like, basically non-existent. So he goes to jail, and he stays in jail for, I want to say, 17 years? When he gets out, he goes to try to reconnect with his family, only to find that his family, his Yakuza family, not his, like, not his actual family because he was born in a brothel and doesn't actually, like, have that, really. So his Yakuza family is his family. So he goes out, tries to find his Yakuza family. He does. He comes back to Kamurocho. Sick move, Yusufan. <laughs> Yeah, he got sentenced to 15 and then got like two or three more. Was it three more? Did he go for 18? 18. Okay, yeah, everyone said 18. Yeah, he was sentenced to 15, 
then ended up getting into a fight while he was uh while he was in prison got three years added to his uh added to his sentence for causing trouble um So he gets out, he goes to find his family, he comes back to Kamurocho. Kamurocho is crawling with Omi Alliance. The Omi Alliance has completely taken over Kamurocho. And apparently the reason for that is because his family basically sold out the Tojo clan to the police and partnered with the Omi Alliance to who the hell is that? Oh dear God. No, don't come any closer. No, don't. Mm. I I need you to I need you to to cool down. This feels good. Yeah, there's something there's something moist cut. I believe it's oil. I believe that's why he's a city slicker. Such as it is. Alright, so... Ichiban goes to try to find his, uh... I didn't. We, we sprayed him down. So Ichiban goes to find his patriarch to be like, hey, what the hell happened? Everyone's saying you sold the Tojo clan out to the Omi Alliance, and there's Omi everywhere. What's what's going on? Um And the Patriarch is like Sorry about this, Ichi. You gotta die. And shoots him in the chest. Huh? Nanda? I don't know what's going on there, so I'm gonna finish this. Shoots him in the chest. That's the end of chapter two. Beginning of chapter three is Ichiban, like, with some septic-looking stitches in his chest, waking up in a trash pile in Yokohama. Um. And now he's just kind of trying to make his way through. We've teamed up with a fellow homeless man, uh, a former detective, who wants to know what the hell is going on with this whole Yakuza situation. And a woman whose sister we, whose sister and father, we helped uh, bail out of a retirement home scam, in which they were charging obscene amounts of money for, um, for like under the table euthanasia, of old, uh, of elderly residents, and. Now we are looking for leads on the Chinese mafia in Yokohama because they, uh, the brothel worker that we were working for to, that led us to the retirement home scam situation to blow that thing open. Uh, we finished that and we saved the, we saved the lady's father and then we came back and dude was dead hung by a rope in his business and we are trying to like it looks like a suicide and the police deemed it a suicide but there are shady circumstances and there was obviously like a struggle at the scene and we are trying to figure out what's going on with that and that's where we're at um we are also basically just running around doing side stories and grinding and leveling up and stuff. What, am, what, what was happening? Oh, right. So, um, Ichiban really, 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 really likes Dragon Quest. And so anytime he gets into a street fight, he lets his opponents hit him, even though he could just kick their ass. He lets their opponents hit them because he wants it to be like a turn based battle system like Dragon Quest. And we have now gone deeper and deeper into this delusional fantasy to the point where he is now hallucinating um, 
He's now hallucinating armor and outfits on all of his allies, and he is also hallucinating that all of the people that he gets into street fights with turn into, like, some sort of red-eyed monsters. What, what, are, what are you doing over there? ないといけないのですが。わあ。服がなくて。わあ。服がない。ええ。泡だけはあるんですけどね。ほら。ばばぼうす。何言ってんだ。What in the no! No, listen, your bubbles are fine. It's very convenient censorship. Uh-huh, yep, nice and sudsy. Yep. Okay. Okay. Doing the old slip and slide. I got a phone call from my grandfather. Uh huh. This sounds like a scam. Alright. Yeah, no shit. No! I wouldn't want to lend my clothes to a bubble man. I just want to point out that this man is like at l like a good 10 to 15 minutes removed from getting jerked off. Like for the bubbles to still be on. Like th th this is the context that we're having this conversation in. Like, he picked up a call from his grandfather while doing the old slip and slide. And it was like, oh shit, I gotta go and bailed and now he's here. Like, not very much time or hygiene has passed since that point. I mean, I guess he is soapy. Anyway, why can't you just go back and get your clothes? Could you not ask them for your clothes? A very slippery rock and a hard place. Don't, I don't want to hear about the hard place. Are you for real right now? Oh, I need something in my style. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, what do you want? Like, what, what are you asking for right now? Dude, you're all... This is already arrestable. 
There's a clothing store in the shop. Yeah, no. The... Fine. Nobody asked. I I wish you hadn't told me that. I wish you hadn't told me that because I need the deniability to tell the police I don't even know who this man is. I've never met this man before in my life. I don't even know his name. Now I can't say that, honestly. I'll still say it. No, but seriously, are you for real, bro? Alright. Avoid any and all water. That's the edge of the map, so... Yep, nothing to see there. Just brush, just brush shoulders. That's fine. That's a puddle. We're going to take the long way around here. Okay, I think we're still good. Seriously, this is still very, very, very arrestable. I, I don't know why. Yeah, it's fine. We're. See Daisy. I'm looking for someone like dumping a bucket out off the roof or something. Oh God, there's a. F Yeah, we're going to move over here. Dude, do you want it? Is this a clothing store? Please tell me this is a clothing store. Well, we got here without you uh, hanging out. Going to the soap land and bringing him his clothes would have made the most sense. Also, the idea that the soap land wouldn't just be like, here's your clothes, get the hell out of here, is like... I... They had to make this work somehow. Alright, be right back. I... I... Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna just leave, though. I, I don't want to be here when you get back. Mm-mm. No! Oh. Phrasing! How is he going to pay for the clothes? Also, are they going to let him shop like that? No, they in fact are not. Literally, the fuck did you think was going to happen? Here we go. There is no misunderstanding about you being naked and covered in bubbles. Everyone understands that very well. 
Also, what is that? What exactly does he want me to explain? No, listen, you don't understand. He was at a soap land getting jerked off and then he had to run out to meet his grandmother. Yeah, that's not better. This shit just doesn't end. Nah. Listen. <laughs> it's a long story. No, you know what? Let's... All right. Here's what happened. Cut the guy some slack. There's no excuse for running around naked. Listen, can a man pay for sex in this town anymore? <laughs> yeah, no, you're not wrong. <sighs> Please don't take it. money so he's uh nah. look about my don't don't call him your friend don't don't no that that's language that can be used against you he's <laughs> he's just a pervert oh yep Hi. i knew it better hurry up and call the police you probably should. No, come on. You know that's not true. No, I don't. We met 10 minutes ago. With you as a naked Why man covered that? in bubbles. Looking at you made me forget. Nah. Look, it's a long story. There's a reason this dude's naked. So Is there? Is it a good reason? No. His grandma just passed out. He was in the bath when he got the message, couldn't ignore it, so he ran out without thinking. Oh no, not grandma! Oh. Do him a favor and sell him some clothes. He's made enough of a scene. She's trying to help this idiot get to the hospital. Like, the face of I don't wanna though. As if retail workers don't have enough shit to deal with. Something ridiculous with a serious face, people will buy just... Oh, that has implications. How? With what? Where were... That's good. Did you have your wallet? Oh. Thank you! A tab. You gave a naked man covered in bubbles a tab. At a clothing store. Sorry, sir. Oh. <laughs> Hope his grandma's okay. 